let's get to specifics here. So the president the other day really got into it with NBC's White House correspondent, Peter Alexander, as you know. He had asked a question about, uh, the president was talking about a couple of malaria drugs. He doesn't know whether they would be effective uh, against the coronavirus, but was willing to support further research. He said, are you giving false hope to people over these drugs? And then Alexander uh, said that, what do you have to say to millions of scared Americans? The president said Peter Alexander had asked a nasty question and he was a terrible reporter. What was nasty about those questions? Well, I want to point out before I answer that question, the president just the day before, I believe it was, or the prior the day before to that, had said that he felt that the media coverage was actually pretty fair. So he has given credit where it's due. In that instance, uh, the, the fact that he, a reporter is asking if he's giving false hope to the American people, I think that was inappropriate. He is the commander in chief. He is at the helm of this country. And it is his job as president to try and comfort this country and make sure that they know that there are we're working towards options that will help people. It is his job to show not only leadership, but try to calm the American people. So to, to come after him and say he's giving false hope, I think was wildly inappropriate. And I believe that's how he reacted the way he did. Well, it was a question. Now, CNN's John King reacted by calling the president's response to Peter Alexander BS. He used the actual word on the air. And MSNBC's Rachel Maddow said cable news shouldn't even carry these virus briefings live because she says the president is spreading misinformation. Your response? Well, the irony there about uh, now they shouldn't have briefings is is not lost on me, certainly. But it doesn't surprise me that either of those uh, networks or that cable channel would attack him. And that's not the point. Right now, they need to set aside their bias against this president, and they need to do what this White House is doing and show leadership and try to get information to the American public. That is your job as journalists. At another briefing, the president responded to a question from One America News.